All right, full disclaimer before I start the video, this is my opinion. I don't know if you're gonna agree with it, but you're probably not going to. You might agree on some points and disagree on some. Just, I don't know, don't hate on me, it's my opinion. All right, so what's up guys, I'm Grim, and today I'm gonna be talking about Jujutsu Kaisen because I just finished it, and holy crap, I can already say it's a masterpiece. Season two better pick up because The Promised Neverland was a huge disappointment in season two, and season one was just as insane, maybe a little less insane than Jujutsu Kaisen was. But I'm gonna be talking about Jujutsu Kaisen and why I think it's a masterpiece, because holy crap, that last episode was filled with a lot of stuff. I might need to make a separate video just on the last episode, because there was a lot that went on, and I don't think I've ever seen an anime before do something this big. So yeah, the first thing I wanna talk about is the characters. Now obviously, when you watch an anime, a huge part of the show is the characters. Now, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I mean, you have the plot, the plot's pretty not basic, I would say, but it's pretty basic with a weird twist, like, I don't know, a 15-year-old in an Italian mafia trying to overthrow the boss. I mean, that's pretty much like a mafia movie, right? But then the characters and everything else that happens makes JoJo so great. So I think characters are a very important part in any anime or any movie or any media that, you know, uses characters. So I think Jujutsu Kaisen does the characters perfectly. I really like Toto and the guy that eats the, or not eats, <laughs> the guy that has the cursed speech and he can only talk in onigiri ingredients. I really like them. Uh, I also like the panda and Itadori, obviously. And just during the last episode, I started liking the girl. I can't remember what her name is though, so I'm sorry about that. The one with the hammer and the nails, the one that's like the really creative weapon design. I really like her. And so overall, I believe that the characters are genuinely very good characters. Uh, they're way better than what I've seen in other shows, such as stuff like Haikyuu. I think Haikyuu has pretty basic characters, albeit I haven't finished the show. But Hinata is kind of just like every other protagonist, or just the quiet kid. Whereas Itadori is a very unique protagonist, I haven't seen anything like him in anime to this degree. He's kind of like Naruto without the little cocky attitude, and I just like, I just like uh, how he works as a protagonist and as a character in general. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the OST. I think the OST for this show is absolutely incredible. Now I'm going to include the openings and endings in this too. Both of them are bangers, both openings and endings. They are both insane, or all four of them, I guess I should say. Uh, if you haven't even watched the show, you can watch it just for the openings, honestly. And the animation in the openings is also incredible as well. But now I want to talk about the actual OST, and I believe that it is one of the best OSTs I've ever seen in anime. Uh, aside from some really good ones like Your Line April and stuff like that. But most of that is an original OST, it's just like songs from other stuff. And I think I think Your Line April's OST is very good, but this in Jujutsu Kaisen is just insane. I really like the song that they play at the end in episode 24, during like the fight between the Itadori, the girl, and the two demons. I thought that was really good. And I thought overall the OST didn't really stick out to me in any way, but did have some bangers. Like that one song that plays when the title shows up midway through the episode. Mmm, straight banger, dude. I don't know which one it is, but there's, uh, sometimes when it's about to lead up to the credits, it plays the full version of the song, and then just, like, at the very exact moment that it's supposed to play the, you know, little jingle part of it that every anime has, it does, and it's just really clean, and the uh, mixing is really good, too. Next thing I want to talk about is the voice acting, and this is just for the sub, by the way. I haven't watched the dub at all, and I'd say the voice acting in Japanese is very good. It's not really noticeable, but I think overall it's a very good voice acting experience. Experience, I guess you can't really I mean the, the voices go along with the characters that they're supposed to I think that Itadori's voice is very Itadori and I think that Toto's voice actor is the perfect voice actor for Toto now the next thing that I want to talk about is the villains I haven't really talked about the villains that much um in the general sense obviously I'm not gonna be talking about them as characters I'm gonna be talking about them as villains I think the one guy that looks like Shigaraki and I can't remember the names because they don't really say the names a lot but the one guy that's like the main villain right now besides Skuna I really like him because he does the Shigaraki trope so well, and I think that's one thing that My Hero did really good that just goes unmentioned, and they didn't really use it correctly, but they, they definitely did use it well. So I think that the main villain in Jujutsu Kaisen as of this moment is one of the best villains in this type. Now here's where we get into the heavy hitters, alright? First thing I want to talk about in this section is the animation. Holy crap, this is one of the biggest reasons why you should watch the show. 
The animation is incredible. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show any because I don't want to get copyright, but it's absolutely incredible. Every single fight is an edge of your seat fight in terms of the plot and the animation. It is just absolutely incredible. If you're going to watch this show for anything, the animation is definitely one of the things you should watch it for. Some of my favorite fights are obviously the final fight. I really like the fight between Itadori and the one guy that I don't really want to spoil anything, but it takes place in a high school. I really like that fight, and then I also like the fight between Gojo and Skuna that lasts 10 seconds, but it's it's really well animated. One example that I just thought of while watching the last episode was Gojo is literally flipping his phone, and it looks so clean. He is flipping his phone, and it looks incredible. That animation right there, that like 5 seconds, is better than the entirety of the 7 Deadly Sins Season 3. Uh, it's, it's incredible, and obviously Season 3 had terrible animation, but... Wow, he's just flipping his phone, and it looks it looks so clean. I, I don't know, man. It's it's everything that you see in this show is just animated so clean. There's some times where you know, obviously, they're gonna have to make the faces look a bit retarded because that's how anime is. But the animation, like the frames and just everything how it flows together, always looks incredible. The lighting is perfect, just absolutely insane. I definitely recommend watching it for the animation. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the plot. The plot is insane. I think the plot is one of the best plots in any anime that have come out recently. And I'm saying this about a lot of stuff for Jujutsu Kaisen. This is honestly my favorite anime that has come out in the past year. And that includes from like last year too. Because there haven't been that many besides, I don't know, Attack on Titan. And I guess you can't really call that a new anime because it's been airing for quite a while. But this plot is absolutely insane. I think that overall, the writers, I believe, I don't know if it's the same plot as the manga. I, I assume it follows the same general basis, but it could turn off or something. I don't know. But I think that the plot is very original and unique. And it makes the shonen trope of... Plots, I don't know how to say it, but you know that the Dragon Ball Naruto plot, like how everything progresses similarly, it takes that and makes it so much better. And I'd say I'd ha I had a way better time watching Jujutsu Kaisen than Dragon Ball or Naruto or Bleach or any other anime like that. Any basic shonens. Uh, the only one I think that I would say no to is Jojo. I think Jojo is the pinnacle of shonen. I think that's the best shonen we'll ever get. But Jujutsu Kaisen is definitely coming up, so this might be better than Jojo, honestly. In a literal sense, not like a, my opinion, because my opinion will always pretty much be Jojo is the best anime. But I think that Jujutsu Kaisen is one of the few heavy hitters that has been just absolutely insane. It has been one of the best anime I've ever seen. Probably, I just made my top 10 video yesterday. I should have put that in like number two. It's probably better than Death Note at this point. It's absolutely insane. This, if this is like the new base for shonen anime, I am 100% invested. I am super excited to see Chainsaw Man because the manga for that is so good. I'm just ready to see the anime, dude. I'm ready to see Denji wanna, you know, touch some mommy milkers in HD animation, dude. Oh my god. I can't wait to see, because I like how the animes of, I, not really animes, but the plots and the themes of Chainsaw Man and Jujutsu Kaisen kind of overlap, and they're really similar, but they're so different that they can be considered different anime, and I think the general vibe of Jujutsu Kaisen is definitely better so far, but I haven't read the manga, and obviously Chainsaw Man doesn't have an anime, so I can't really judge too much on either of them right now, as in comparing to each other. But I'm really excited for Chainsaw Man, I hope it gets animated by MAPPA or a very good studio like that just like how Jujutsu Kaisen got animated very cleanly. I also think that overall the general plot of season two, I, I just hope, I hope, I also like how they haven't included a tournament arc yet. I think that's one of the weirdest things with any anime in general is having a tournament arc. I mean, I love Dr. Stone, but there is a tournament arc, and I know it's good. I know it's a good tournament arc, but I don't think every anime needs a tournament arc, right? Like, my hero did not need a tournament arc. Two tournament arcs, and albeit, I think, a third for this season. That is not okay. Three tournament arcs in the span of, like, five seasons. That's incredibly bad. I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen more tournament arcs. Uh, maybe, like, God of High School might have some more, but, like, oh my god, there's so many. I think Dragon Ball has a lot of tournament arcs, too. They have way too many. But at least they, like, shortened them down. There's, like, ten episodes for each tournament arc. That's in the original Dragon Ball, by the way. Um, I don't know about Dragon Ball Z. I haven't gotten that far. But I guess you can call the Saiyaman arc a tournament arc, because, like, Raditz is just all cocky, and he's like, let's have a tournament, let's have some fun. Or I'm sorry, Nappa, not, not Raditz. But yeah, I think I think overall, if there's gonna be a tournament arc in Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm very confident that they're gonna nail it. 
because so far they've taken every basic shonen trope and just it made it insane. I think the animation is definitely a huge selling point, but at the same time there's these things that they do that no anime has ever done before. For example, in the fight in the high school that I was talking about, they kill off a character so early, and I like that, I like that with shows, that they can actually deal with loss. Because stuff like My Hero, up until the most recent chapters I've heard, has just been incredibly boring. There's been, what, one death? One confirmed death, and that's over the villains, too. There's been one death in season four, and that was it. I think that's incredibly bad. I think we need to get rid of some characters, and I don't like saying, oh, well, let's get rid of all the characters. But there's there's way too many. There's way too many characters in my hero that are just alive for no reason. You're telling me that best genius can get like nearly destroyed by Shigaraki, but no no no, he's gonna come back to life. I just think that my hero needs to learn how to let people go, and the author has I assume been doing a pretty good job because he kills off a lot of people in like one arc apparently. But yeah, overall I hope Jujutsu Kaisen does better in the season. Well, not better. I mean honestly, do better. I'm not I'm not opposed to doing better than season one. Every episode has been better than the last so honestly yeah i think jujutsu kaisen is going to be a straight 10 out of 10 masterpiece maybe even better than death note so yeah guys thank you so much for watching uh like and comment or whatever you want to do uh i'm probably going to make a couple more videos about jujutsu kaisen because this anime has been incredibly insane i'm definitely going to start reading the manga because i'm really hyped for season two and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video